on YouTube, fam. It's your boy Tony Two Times, and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before we start, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're new to the fam, and share the video. Let's get right into it. The GDs, or Gangsta Disciples, a gang that formed in Chicago back in the day and became global over a short period of time. With Chairman Larry Hoover being the head of the organization, the GDs would try to tell members to do something positive to help the organization and the community like go to school, become lawyers, teachers, and more. But like with most black organizations, police would soon swoop in and indict in top members, interfering with the structure of the gang with the head and leaders being gone. They thought this would hurt the gang, but by this time the GDs had already established the organization in different states, especially the southern states like Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee. In this episode of Hood Tales, we will be discussing a young man from Georgia who allegedly was a sworn police officer in DeKalb County, Georgia, and a GD enforcer as well. Let's take it back. The young man who we will call V grew up in Georgia. Upon leaving school, V would go overseas to the Middle East to fight for his country. Once his deployment was over, learning skills while in battle, and now with a military background, VG decided when he returned home to Stone Mountain, Georgia, he would join the police academy and become a DeKalb County Police, a county outside of Atlanta. A young father, V seemed to have everything situated in his 20s at the time. Everything seemed to be going good, but according to sources, V had strong ties to the GDs in Georgia and was close friends with a top member of the organization, allegedly. V was a police officer during the day, but at night, a gangster disciple. Let's get into a few alleged situations. Allegedly, V would tip off the GDs whenever police raids were coming, giving them information, letting them know about investigations and who was hot or in paperwork. Even traveling with top GDs in Georgia to take care of GD business. As the men talked, the GDs would inform V of the structure in Georgia since he had been gone for a little minute. But the GDs in the area were active with 24 alleged shootings, leaving 12 people gone. On one alleged situation, the chief in Georgia asked V to find out what cops were investigating on Flash Shoals Road in DeKalb County, in which the officer let him know they were investigating the shooting. Two days later, allegedly V called the big GD personally telling him to stay away from a sports bar he liked to go to because they were planning a police raid. Things would become even more intense when the gang would allegedly hit up a man in front of his family and four-year-old child while he was walking home from a convenience store. On another situation, another man was hit over 12 times allegedly because he refused to participate in the community cleanup. The feds were watching the organization and would start sending down indictments, accusing them of extortion, robbery, money wire fraud, and over 24 shootings in the DeKalb area. V-Name would come up First, as he allegedly broke a suspect's jaw, and the community was accusing the police of getting high off narcotics. Also, a girl V was saying at the time accused the man of being an enforcer and hitman for the gang, showing police text messages with V asking, Do you think God will forgive me for the killings? and about the drive he took to handle GD business with the chief. But once V was indicted, his lawyer argued. This was just an attempt by a bitter-ass girlfriend to bring the young man down. The community would also accuse V of showing alleged violence against suspects he thought was a rival was in a rival gang, allegedly beating them and refusing the victim's medical attention. The young man would eventually turn in his gun and badge and step down from being the DeKalb County Police. With an indictment and charges pending, prosecutors tried to link V to hits done by the gang but things were shaky with no hard evidence, but they were able to prove he was associated and put a conspiracy charge on the young man. While another five GD members faced more serious charges, the ex-girlfriend could maybe have just been bitter and the text messages V could have been talking about the killings he did as a soldier overseas. The original motion of the GDs was growth and development. If V was a GD, he stayed on the path of the original plan better yourself for the organization. But anything black with structure, the feds was coming for. More of this story, once you are in company of anybody that the feds are watching, 
you become a target. A lot of these cases sound like mad suspects, mad ex-girlfriends, and mad police because V grew up with the GDs and they were his friends. But sometimes we're guilty by association, so you gotta watch the company you keep. Y'all know my son, we gotta succeed not to fail, so we won't be just another hood tell. Yeah, man, it's a crazy situation. So if you heard, you know, V basically went to the military, came home, became a police, and in the community, they was basically, <clears throat> excuse me, they was basically accusing him of like doing certain things, drinking, smoking, or saying if he arrested a suspect that was in another alleged gang, he would rough them up, you feel me, slam them all up, yoke them up. And you feel me, the community was complaining on him. That's why he turned in his badge and his gun. But the main thing that the police force was focused on was his association with the GDs. They ain't like that at all. You know what I mean? Even if they trying to say his lawyer was trying to say he wasn't a GD. But even so, you feel me, the police department feel like you don't oppose to associate with nothing close to no gang member because you a sworn officer. So the line's real thin. But like with the ex-girlfriend, she was trying to say that he sent her a text saying, you know, well, God forgive me for the killings. But like I say, the man did go overseas. He probably was in the whole war. So he could have been talking about what he did when he was overseas. So it's a lot of circumstantial evidence. But like I said, when the feds come in and they drop them indictments, they indicting anybody that's close to the situation, anybody they feel like had something to do with it. And being that V was a police officer, he knew them boys was hot, but you can't help who you grow up with. If them really your homies, some people don't feel like just because they doing something different that they gonna turn their back on you. You know what I mean? But it's a thin line, you know what I mean? But it's crazy, you feel me? Of course, the prosecutors tried to paint it. Like, bro was just out here running wild. They labeled him a hit, man, stuff like that. Crazy situation, man. But y'all already know, this is another episode of Hood Tales. Be sure to like comment share the video subscribe if you're new to the fam we on that road to 50k man so i already know y'all gonna show the love man and hitting that like button what it do it put these videos in rotation so you feel me youtube can show them more on the main page man so y'all already know any video ideas any videos y'all want me to do you can hit me up at tony two times dot biz at gmail.com or follow me at instagram at underscore tony two times love fam i'm out